This is a HeadGum Podcast. We're back! All right. Yes. The Garf Man's in upstate New York. Another intro, Jake. Against all odds. And you... You're blowing, you're blowing past that? The upstate New York? That's Yeah. Cool. I'm blowing past oh, you're, it. Oh, you're private. You're private. Yeah. I'm a private you're, man. You're going to be gone. By the time it this doesn't comes matter. out, you're not going to I don't want... Gone. Listen. Right. You know how oh, they... You're right. I get trailed right. like a bloodhound. You're more famous. I'm more trackable. Um, <laughs> Nobody and, wants uh, to track me. <laughs> <laughs> Tracking you would got, be the easiest uh, thing ever. And, and grosses. Congratulations. You went yeah. to the same two restaurants yeah. I always go to. Yeah, you bought a trail out of them. Pistachio shells. Yeah, exactly. It's like it's tracking me is like tracking a Chicago detective <laughs> in the 80s. Congratulations. You can see the you can see the pistachio <laughs> shells. You see the restaurant I go Coffee to. Coffee stains. Cigarette, yeah, yeah, and cigarette yeah. butts. Who cares? Congrats. Uh, I do not By the way, in. you need to get back into smoking. Um we have a great episode today. Great episode. Uh, great episode. Two great guests. Um, our first guest, actually, Andy Samberg, Ooh, which is killer. a huge get. And I believe he's involved in a project you know about. Jake, what would that be? Yeah, so Andy Andy came on board to be in the movie Self-Reliance. We had a great Zoom during the pandemic, which was a highlight of that boring year. Um he was so funny in the movie. He helped so much. He and Akiva and Yorma and Ali Bell, who they all produced the movie, they just really kicked ass and they're just kind of the best. And I really realized working with them how jealous I am of the Lonely Island guys. I've talked to Gareth about yeah. this, but how they just all have each other and they're so creative and smart and they just pitch like crazy. And then when Gareth and I talk projects, it always goes back to the Packers and Bears, and we just get mean to each other. Well, the Packers so, are better. But uh, the movie comes out January 12th. Yes. Uh, on he Hulu. Comes on, yes. And Andy's uh, episode on this show is really funny and disgusting. This is kind of a disgusting episode. Guys. Well, that's what I was going to say is if we've got his his one is a little below the belt, and then our second one is a little below the belt, too. So we're just preparing people. Uh, Steve Berg is our second guest, who is our... Long time <laughs> friend for yeah. a while, the bridge in our friendship when we started yes. playing frisball, and exactly that's a whole podcast in its own right. I, mean, I guess when you throw Steve and Eric in, that's our lonely island, goddamn. Yeah, yeah, and it's the loneliest island because they don't help <laughs> us. Um, but Berg helps us on this one, and it's it, yeah, just two best. great problems. Uh, yeah, and his is also disgusting. Dirty. Now, yeah. if you want, if you like Steve, which we know you will. Everybody always loves Steve and go, who is that king? He's yes. the funniest. Uh, you can find his podcast, High Comma Strangeness. And it's a podcast about strange occurrences hosted yeah. by the strangers of the strange. Stevie yes. Berg. Yep. A big, big, strange man. We're all denim to the recording. I'm sure you could go watch the video if you like, <laughs> which reminds us there is video oh, now boy. of the show. Um, yes. So if you want to see like a lot of people when I was doing gigs this uh, holiday season, were saying. They want video. We have video now. So yeah. you can go to our YouTube, which again, why don't you promote the YouTube, Jake? We're here to help on YouTube. Yep. And that's what we, we're good at this. Um, so, uh, but anyway, without great episode ado. without, without further, further. further. I'm doing a little bit. Oh, wait. And the Bears Packers have already happened. So one of us. Congrats on the win, Jake. Face. Without further ado. Congrats on the, you won. Congrats on the, you won. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, hey. Hey, how are you? Whoa. This is, uh, can I get your name, please? Yes. Bilbo. Oh, Bilbo. Is it Baggins? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're all big fans of you. It's yeah, from <laughs> Bag End. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, and Bilbo, where are you uh, calling from? I'm calling from uh, Los Angeles. Hey, hey, hey. Now, you're on with Jake Johnson, Gareth Reynolds, and Bilbo. We got a special one. Uh, we've got a man who I guess would be the reason why my movie got greenlit, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> That's generous. But you agreeing to be in it. And then all of a sudden we got old Anna Kendrick too. So Mr. Andy Samberg's on the call. Hi. Oh boy. Uh... That's right, Bilbo. <laughs> oh High <boy>. stakes. <laughs> all right. So Bilbo. Bilbo, are you uh... quite ready to go on another adventure? <laughs> <laughs> Take us with you, Bilbo. I'm ready to tell you a tale. Okay. Young lady, the floor is yours. <laughs> so me and my husband, I'll call him uh, Frodo. Maybe it's a little bit 
problematic. Yeah, if you guys ended up together, we're going with it. Yeah, we're going with it. Yeah, fix stuff for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. 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 So. Well, I'll try to focus through the eroticism. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, me and my husband and a couple close buds built a recording studio, and we get one of my personal musical heroes coming in for a crazy session that he's going to book with my husband as his engineer. Um, we'll call him Smeagol. Sure. And on the last day of the session, I'm working next door in our other studio and I'm like, yo, Frodo, um, what, like, how's it going? And he's like, today I found not one, but two chips in the toilet. T- two, two what? Two unflushed human poop in the toilet. And I was like, yikes, that's a weird situation too. Um, And he was like, and that's not it. There was no toilet paper. The lid was down. The light was on and the door was closed each time. And I was like, that's psychotic. A couple weeks pass. He comes back to finish some more stuff on this session. Before I can even like ask, my husband, like, how his day was. He was like, before, before you even ask, like, yeah, same thing. Huge dump. <laughs> so- Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bill, what, Bill, what? I got to understand what the hell's happening on this call. There's a <laughs> musician who comes to your studio. Shmeek. He takes a dump in your yes. bathroom. He doesn't use toilet paper. He yes. closes the door and he leaves the lid up. Yes, he's, he's no, not lid down. Yeah, but lid he's down? not wiping. Okay. No flush, no wipe. Lid down, light on, door closed. It's yeah. a very specific. Whoa! Uh, very it's as specific. if he, this artist is treating the bathroom as if the 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 room itself is a plastic bag, and the door <laughs> shutting is burying it under the yes. earth. Yes, yes, it's yes. It's his literal. So box. crazy! It's so crazy. <laughs> I have no shame around spreading this news because I think it's so funny and also mad disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> How is this mad disrespectful? Just because he doesn't flush? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's... Or wipe. Well, he's an artist. He's an artist. Jake, you're pulling the curtain back a little too much for everybody on this one, to be honest. Who, who would flush their art? Who would flush their art? Is that what you just said? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, hey, Jake, that's not the... That's not, you're, not talking, that's not Bill, like, you're not talking about some mid-level fucking yuck. You're saying he's a top guy. It's the toilet paper that is hurting me the most. Gareth, do you think this person is so healthy that it's clean break every time? It could be, but Wishful I mean, that thinking. is, Wishful you thinking. are really, that's a real really, Russian roulette move on your health. Yes. You are depending on your <laughs> system greatly. So what is your question? Is it, what do you do now? Cause this is just a setup. So my question is how do I, someone who knows this person, but isn't on his session, how do I bring it up? Yeah. Okay. So. I think I'm going to start off. So the question on this one is just to paraphrase really quickly. You own a studio. There's a musician who comes in. You're fans of him. You respect him. He takes dumps in your studio with no toilet paper and he does not flush. And it's happened a lot. And it's a reoccurring thing. And it's going to continue to happen. And you're feeling disrespected to the point of should you bring it up? And if so, how? Is that correct? Yes, sir. So I'm going to say 100% you bring it up. Wow. That's so interesting, Jake. Yeah, that is not where I would go. Yeah. I was going to say 100% don't. I'm uh, I'm on Team Andy. There's one, there's only s- one way it can go if you bring it up in my opinion. How? Super awkward. Yes. And then never work together again. Well, or or okay. uh-huh. <laughs> you bring it up in, in a conversational way. Give me an example what, of how that Yeah, walk go. us through okay, that. Okay, so yeah. Andy, Andy, yeah, Andy you pretend it. you're the guy. Oh, okay? I would okay. love to. Thank you. And I'll pretend to be Bilba. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, great take for me. Here I go. Got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, my God. It's happening. Oh. <laughs> no toilet paper. Going to put the lid down. <laughs> Leave the lights on. I'm going to go ahead and close the door. That's my normal thing that I do. Heading back to the studio. I'm ready for another take. <laughs> well, I'm not bringing it up now because you're on fire. So take two and we're rolling. <laughs> See, that's what happens. The so genius the overwhelms. Way, 
the so way. So that's the way. If it's that's yeah. the genius, and he needs it to stay hot. Well, I'm an engineer, man. I'll flush a fucking toilet to get that gold. <laughs> But what I would do now, let's pretend, Andy, let's do it again. And the day's over. Bill, but do you ever go, do you ever see him socially? Yeah. You do. Oh, so, okay, that's what I was thinking. Stakes so now pretend, I know, but, uh, the, but, the, but the socialization. So no, Bill, but it's better. Because you can't do it in the studio when he's fucking dropping heat, right? right. Andy throw, just showed you that maybe. Sash. It'll throw off the sesh. Maybe it's part of it. But now, Andy, we're at a dinner getting drinks after and we're all hanging. Okay. okay. Yeah. We had a great session. All right. So, Andy, if you want to start as our guy, let's call you. Hey, Bilbo, give us a name for the musician. Just use his Schmiegel. real name, please. Schmiegel. Schmiegel. Uh, no. What's, what's his real name, please? <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice try, Jake. You're Guys, good. Some say I, the best. G Gareth, I need you on my team here, baby. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can we? Okay. Just for. Uh, okay. We're, okay. we're taking a pause oh God, from recording the name. So, okay. Uh, Schmeagle, we're at the bar. We just sat down. We just had mm -hmm. some food. Do -do 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 eating food. <laughs> you were on fire today. Oh, my God. Thank you, brother. You dropped some really great. I mean, I think this album's the, the best you've ever done. Are you serious? Man, I, I think hope so. so. I'm also what do you th put my heart and soul into it. You know how it is when you're a musician <laughs> yeah. artist. But what's your favorite song from this album? For sure. Stink, roses and petals. Yeah, that's a great one. It is. That's I love really the lyrics good. that I. What wrote. are the lyric? What are the lyrics again? And how does the uh, melody go? It goes. Roses and petals. Again, what a hit! Yeah, and then question. there's that big bass drop. <laughs> yeah, I bet. So you know what I was thinking in terms of? I just have a question for you because I've noticed you're a pretty clean eater. Oh, and I'm, I, I'm I'm trying to get healthier myself. Mm -hmm. Um, do you feel when you go to the bathroom that and if this is too personal, we don't have to do this talk, but do you mind Smeagol? I'm not sure what the question is, so I can't answer it. Do you feel like when you go to the bathroom, sometimes it's so clean, you don't have to wipe? I don't, I'm, I'm not sure I follow. <laughs> when you go to the bathroom because <laughs> your diet is so good, Smeagol. Do you feel, because with me, I have to wipe so much. It's disgusting. Uh, and it's wasteful. It's oh, wasteful. I see. You're divulging it's like, personal information to me, trying to loosen me up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was hoping you weren't going to be so aware of that. But <laughs> I just didn't realize this was a profile for fucking us weekly. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to say here, Smeagol, is do you take dumps in our toilet and not use toilet paper. Oh, so, oh, so it so, finally why? comes to a head. Well, yes, <laughs> yes, I do. And you know what? If you tell anyone, I'll kill you. And we're never working together again. And we're not really friends. Uh, see? <laughs> oh, okay, that went sideways. <laughs> now, I got to tell you, Bill, but that went sideways. Boy, um, the mind but, of an artist. Yeah. Um, and I would work with him again because his He's music is on fire. But I don't, I, here's what I honestly think. I think if you don't bring this up, that's a very easy move, right? It's really yes. easy to just not bring it up. But the longer you work with this guy, the more it's going to happen. The hanging socially does complicate it. Yes, because pitch. you know him. Go ahead, Garf. What if you put a sign in the bathroom? Sometimes you go to public places oh and there's gosh. signs in the yeah. bathroom that are like, Ooh. don't flush the towels because someone tried that. So what if there I've was a sign in that. there? You did think of this or you did this? I've, but it feels so funny to be like, flush yes, your shit. To you, but if you think about the fact that, like, I mean, this, I would say this Ooh. is a good starting point to just sort of be like, hey, we don't know who it is, but FYI, something along the lines of, like, these are old pipes. When you flush, please hold it. Like, something that just is indicating that flushing is mandatory, which, again, it should not be or, necessary. Or, Garf, shame a little bit. Okay. Give me that pitch. What does that sound like? Please flush thin walls we can all smell oh man that is <laughs> that's wild. brutal that is that's, i know thin it's brutal. walls thin, the thin walls first off you I don't want to advertise your thin walls at a recording studio <laughs> facts facts um how about this how about this thinnest Please walls in town <laughs> <laughs> come on down you can hear the drilling oh. <laughs> What about something in the world of please flush smells have been intense uh, it's, it's, because oh. you're not saying to him, Hey man, we know it's you. We're saying we know that you know shared, that you're not flushing shared bathroom. Please make sure you flush. 
Ooh, ooh, wait. I have a new pitch. Okay. Do it. Water pressure not strong. Please flush twice. Yes. Ooh. I like that too. It's you're basically saying, hey, sometimes you accidentally don't flush. And the wiping thing is just that's we can't fix that. What do you think of that, Bilba, about putting up a sign? I like that. Like you need to flush. Wiping's on you. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Hold on, guys. That's really passive aggressive, but it's really I think it's good. just aggressive. I'll say well, this. because you're not doing it face to face. A sign yeah, ahead, in Sam. general is a passive aggressive, like roommates in college kind of a move. Yeah, yeah. It's like when there's down three the people the in your apartment and you put up a sign being like, "Just a reminder, everyone who lives here needs to do the dishes." Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Also, please don't eat other spaghetti, especially when that one person just got home from work and was excited. <laughs> Ted. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Bilba. Let's be clear. Do you have the guts to confront this person face to face? I think I do, but not in a social setting. That could be like in a like like caught in the act. You know what I mean? Like yes, that's hey, what I was like. Hey, say. hey, man. Follow. Uh, Ooh, yeah, notice that. I don't know, like, because I'm not on the sessions, which would be more hilarious. And but what sad. you're you're close to where the studio is. Oh yeah. So why not have your your husband text you when it's Ooh. break time and he's going in there? You come in, you follow artist into the bathroom after, Ooh, and like come, directly, and come out and go, mm. "Hey, whoa, you left a that's a big leave behind." Mm. Bill, but does this sound like you might do this? Because there's a move here. I think that's where I'm leading, but I'm scared. So then here's what I would you do: are. you're going to go this is yeah. intense. So <laughs> I like what Garf said about having your boyfriend text you. I like standing right at the door. So when he opens it, he knows that you know for sure. Right. So look, one more time. My Andy, leavings you, are godly. Will, Andy, will you, You're be welcome. Smiggle, will you be Smeagol walking out of the bathroom? And Bilba, will you try to confront him? And let's see what happens. Great. All right. Here we go. So Smeeg's in the bathroom. Click, click, door opening. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Oh, oh, fuck yeah. Oh, hey, Smeagol. Oh, Bilbo. Oh, I'm just, I'm just going to use the bathroom myself also. Great. Because I do that too. <laughs> Can't wait to see you in a professional and personal manner moving forward. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Me too. Oh, look at that. Those, everything is on. And the lid is down. Whoa, Nelly. All right. My friend, you left a huge dump in the toilet. I'm going to have to ask you to, to take care of that. I'm going to just I'm gonna leave for a sec. You go ahead. All right, Frodo, let's kick it. I'm, all, I'm already all the way back at the booth. <laughs> I agree. Good. Bill, but your pacing is so slow and yeah, weird. He's is, not hanging out while you do this. It's longer than the Pale roses and petals. <laughs> Dude, some overlays. I agree. He's <laughs> deep in his second song while you're talking to nobody going, so, uh, <laughs> so uh, you should know that. Uh, about the human <laughs> digestive Frodo, system. Frodo, should we do a harm stack right here? <laughs> Holy schmoly, Nelly, Billy, there's a dumper in whoa, the toilet bowl. Oh, whoa, whoa, Nelly needs to come back. That's also part of my takeaway. <laughs> I'm 100% Huguenotto doing dead. that. I, and my falsetto's off today I, from just, screaming after letting loose the biggest dump of all time. <laughs> all right. I think we're ready uh, to wrap this one up, Bilba. I think here's where, here's where I'm at. Here's your options from us. You can bring up socially in a a you know a bar environment hearing how you do it as your friend on this i'm not going to recommend it uh you could put up the number two is just let it go you're a oh. business he's a big client he wants to shit and do weird things just he it's worth having him <laughs> number three is put up a sign something that's very clear that says please flush twice or you know we need you to flush your dumps or it's disgusting not to flush, something in that zone. Uh, the next option is a caught in the act routine that we just uh, painfully lived through. Mm -hmm. So Bilba, where are you at? Sign or maybe I'm not gonna stand outside the bathroom yeah, door. Good. Super weird. Mm -hmm. um, 
But if he's in the studio again, I'll probably just like a little knock, knock. Hey, just a reminder. You got to flush the toilet. You oh, are going to do that, that Bill? Wild. There's there's a huge Wait, hold on, distance hold between the sign and <laughs> knocking and being like, hey, start with the sign. <laughs> I no, would but, start. Yeah. Let's just start small and go. Will from you do there. this? Let's let's end this with a win, Bill. Will you? Can we decide on a sign right now? And would you put it in the bathroom, even though he's not there, as a new store policy? Flushing, and you would like a photo of it. Flushing is yeah. is mandatory. mandatory. Yeah. What um, font do you want? Oh, wingdings for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you, would you need do to ask? Is, would you do wing dings, Calligraphy. would you laminate it, and would you put it pretty big over the to- toilet that says flushing is mandatory? Helvetica. If he comes back and he takes a dump and he does not flush after the sign, then it's time to confront him. Yeah. Bilba, are you going to do it? Yeah. Will you send a photo to Kevin? Yep. Yeah. And Hello. last, before we go, and we oh, need man, to do this for me. everything. I was just thinking about it. Yep. Uh, this is how we end all of them. Can you please tell us the name of the musician really fast without thinking? <laughs> Listen, Go ahead. We had every call like this, like Jake said. This is not out of the ordinary. Bilba, thank you for the call. We're getting off. Okay, bye. Good luck. Biz, 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 biz. Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. You're on with Jake Johnson, Gareth Reynolds, and the host of High Strangeness, a weird UFO themed podcast how yeah, is that that's great it's perfect steve berg uh can we get your okay. uh, first name please yes it's renee renee can we get your age please yes i'm 31 31 and where are you where are you from renee missouri <gasps> the show me states i knew you were going to say that actually I wow swear. welcome back to you high strangeness yeah. <laughs> renee he didn't I renee he I didn't did. and we're gonna plow ahead okay then though. hold on steve what city st louis easy renee no nope kansas city Oh well, does it, do we count? You said Missouri? easy, so okay. uh, Renee, what's <laughs> does that count? No, it, counts, it does it count. Counts, it counts. Okay, Enormous. Renee, what can we do for you today? <laughs> okay, so I'm calling in about my husband and I. We have been married for about a year and a half. Congrats! And we're very comfortable with each other. You know, um, think you know, like to think we have a, a good, you know, healthy sex relationship, sex life, and congrats, nice. Yeah, <laughs> so occasionally. Um, from time to time, he likes a little, you know, backdoor tongue action. Okay. You said tongue action? Yeah. yeah. She said tongue action. Act like you've been here before. Yeah. Here, I'm Jake, sh- let's do another sorry, take. Mary Jake, Margaret, Jake, you- <laughs> Jake, let's do one more take Jake's where you react. Sorry. Plus he likes a little backdoor tongue action. Respect. What's the problem? All right. Yeah. 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 Just, you know, nothing, nothing Just crazy. a couple of normal you know, people from, from Missouri. Yeah. Right. The, the show- flyover <laughs> states have changed, yeah. kids. Well, yeah. this is the show me state. Yeah. It sounds yeah. like it's happening. We're out here in weirdo Los Angeles <laughs> hearing about people licking There's buttholes in Missouri. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't think so either. We're, it's great. Okay, so every now and then he likes a little tongue back there. Great. A little, yeah, just, you know, nothing crazy. Just no. a little a little tongue action, a little licking, a little licking. Yeah. A little yum yum. Yeah. So that's not the problem here. Um, the problem is this man is, he's a very hairy man. Oh, this is disgusting. Okay, Renee, very hairy man. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> We're going to help you. We're going to help gonna you. Bark. Take us with you. <laughs> yeah. Listen, All right. He's Jake, <laughs> Sorry. he's a hairy man. So we, I think I know where you're going, but why so, don't you just take us there anyway? You know where I'm going with Go it. with it. You go. know where I'm going with go. it. So, so do I go just face first into this jungle? Oof. No. Or, no. Hold on. But I, I feel like if I if I say something to him, it you know I don't want to kill his confidence or like kill the sexy. You yeah, know what right. I mean? Right. I, I, I don't understand. want to. So how do I navigate? Okay. So I've, okay. Backdoor jungle. I've got some questions wow, well to start. Put, Renee, way. well put. First okay. of all, much <laughs> respect to you. Thank you for the call. I apologize for my tone before. I am on your team and we're going to figure this out. So, first okay. question. Uh, Welcome back. Thanks. It was just a jarring start. <laughs> I, it, listen. And it was my weakness, <laughs> <Yeah>. not Renee's. <laughs> yes. Renee, what's this guy's name? What's your partner's name? Or any name. Or any name. Adam. 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 Okay. Uh, have you done this before with Adam? I have. Okay, has he gotten hairier? <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? Columbo, it's, one more thing. Been, no, it's been consistent. I oh, just, I, I need I need something to change. I mean, you need help. You you're, know what's not sexy so, is pulling hair out of your mouth. It's not, but so your tolerance level is dwindling on this uh, yum yum situation. Uh-huh. Interesting. So, now, uh, yeah, yeah, the yum ahead, yum is. Go ahead, go ahead. I mean, I got a very boring 
like fix, and that's a dental dam. But I mean, is that going to ruin the? Well, situation? either way, you're. I mean, the problem with that is you're still. It's still. Your issue is you don't want him to feel like it bothers you. So yeah. if you're throwing a dental dam back <laughs> right, there, yeah. you're basically saying you're shutting it down for construction. You're right. You're right. But you're hold right. on. Hold on. You just yeah. said butthole yeah. Don. Pass. Come on. It's good stuff. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> uh, Renee, basically what happened here is, you. I mean, you're, you know, you're in love. It's early. You're mm-hmm. going with it, whatever. And now that it's kind of settled down, you want to make it a little bit easier because, yeah, you are asking your tongue to machete through a back jungle. And you yes. want help with Kevin how to just scribble we, the title. We want, we want, we want to help you figure out a but way. Hold on. I've got a foolproof plan already. What is it? Is it a dental dam again? Before, no, before you said, can you remember it? <laughs> yeah. Renee, can I ask you a Columbo question? Because Gareth is okay. talking like Adam's friend and trying to find a way to get you there. Now I need you real here. Do you want to continue doing this or do you feel like you should continue doing this? Okay. So. <laughs> Are you ready to retire like, and hang up the jersey? Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> no, I feel like, you know, I like, you know, we like to satisfy each other. So I like yeah. to, okay. you know, Respect. I, I want giving to, lover. So how do I satisfy my man without choking on a hairball? Okay. Yes. Now we're with you. My, I went on a road. Renee, I needed to know that. Now we're with you. Steve, what do you want you my easy fix? Yeah. Sure. Okay. So I love how open your uh, sexual relationship is. So Real you open. could always say, Hey, Adam, I'm going through a phase where I'm into like smooth skin butts that are not hairy. And you kind of make it into a joke like, hey, what if we tried something crazy and we shaved your butt and it might be a whole new thing? <laughs> well, hold on. I'm let him saying, go. Let him be. I think it. It, it, I think could you're be, it could be. You could, you could frame it as like, it's a kind of a kink, a kink. I want to explore. I want to explore a twink butt. I've been exploring if a bear butt. That's just a really if bad. you pitch <laughs> my kink is shaving your asshole, I would potentially say. And this happens in reverse all the time where women, guys go, I'm really into hairless. And women go get waxes. Yeah, that's yes. true. I think rather than you having to shave his butt or do a big lie about being into a new kink, I would lean into this idea of I'm happy to do it. The hair is getting much. What about doing a wax? To which he'll go, no gracias. Yeah. And you'll go, well, I've done it for you. Yeah. There you go. That's the turn. That's a very straight shot. Uh, yeah, that's an A to B, shot. which I like. Yeah. That option is there. And by the way, I think that uh, what I like about it is that you are honestly approaching the subject. You're being respectful. I would imagine that he would go, oh, I get it. But I also get the idea that you want to try to navigate around this a little. So I'll throw a couple pitches yeah. your way in how to do that. Okay. My first okay. is, I don't know what your situation is in your pubic area, but if you keep it pretty high and tight, hey, we're growing it out. We're going to fight fire with fire. Ooh. We're going to show him okay. the problems with hairs. Quick pause. Don't lose this. Okay. Renee, are we high and tight? Where are we at here, kid? No, yeah, we're high and tight. Okay. High and tight. So we're talking about we're going back to 1972, mm-hmm. and I we're like going to show Adam, okay, what, some of the some of the problems I like this. with I having too. to navigate through the bushes. Because yeah. what if he says... Hey, sweetheart, do you yes. mind trimming because I'm getting hairs in my mouth? Could lead us to your plan. <laughs> right? Could lead us to, well, why, why don't, don't we do go, a wax together? Why don't we go get a wax together? All right, well, that's really interesting. Okay, What's your next so, one, so, that, so there's there's that one, okay? My second one is wild. But again, we just like to give people options. So here's what I recommend you do. You go back there. You're performing the duties that you've signed up for. You're performing yum yum. Yep, you're yeah. going back there for a little yum yum. While you're performing a little yum yum, uh oh, one of the butt hairs gets caught in your mouth <gasps> and you fake a choke. I love this. And you start coughing and going, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Some of your butt hairs got caught in my throat. And yeah. you go get water, <laughs> drink it, gargle, so sorry. And that leads you to look, it's just hard Hate sometimes this. to get where you want me to go Hate this. with all of, the, give me a second, <laughs> with, with the obstructions. With all the obstructions we have back here. It would probably help okay. me and help you if we kind of just trimmed it up back there. I need a to jump bit. in. I need to jump Clear in. Clear the freeway. I need to jump, jump in. There's too much debris. Jump. I need to jump in. Jump. Renee, you said you don't want him feeling self conscious. So Gareth, I don't. No, Gareth that's pitched. You... Gareth? <laughs> what the hell's going on? You have pubes in your fucking throat? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> what? I mean, oh, okay, Garfie, let, me tell you, let me tell you what Jake just did. Jake looked Garth. at the poster of our podcast behind me and just said, 
What's your name? Well, why do you think I never introduce people, man? <laughs> this is my buddy. <laughs> my brain is gone. I forget cousins' names. <laughs> What's your name? That's why I take notes. If it all just said Gareth, <laughs> all of Jake's notes is just my name. So here's what I'm afraid of on that, Renee. If you're trying to make Adam not feel insecure and you fake choking on his butthole, leave Hair. the act uh -huh. to get water and then go, <clears throat> sorry, I was it really gets hoping to, to a help. conversation. It's a really tough one. It's tough, but we're a hey, options. Yes. So as of right now, Renee, we've got Steve's kind of version. And that's say you've got a new kink. Maybe will he shave his butthole? You've got my version. And that is maybe ask for a wax and say you're willing to do it. Also, you've got uh, Garf's option of you let yours get 70s and you fight fire with fire. <laughs> which I might think is the smartest. Uh, and four, you've got fake a choke on a pube that ideally leads to a conversation and he then chooses to shave or wax. Where are you at right now in this stage? If we can close and win right now, we will. If we have to keep pitching, we will. But I want to hear from you if you don't mind, Renee. My first instinct would to be to kind of dance around the idea of let's go get a wax together mm -hmm. okay just so it's like a together thing like yeah. so i'm not like i'm not pointing my finger okay right? so i feel like that's fair um but i am entertaining the idea of like choking on a hair because you, that oh, would but maybe good. playing it like downplaying it. yeah okay keep you don't need to overdo it it's not well, yeah. obvious just so it's kind of like I'm I'm making a point but i'm not saying it renee, yeah. can, we renee can yes. yes can we do a game here renee Okay. Can you please be you? And I'll be Adam. Uh -huh. And we, Steve, we don't need an Adam. We, yeah. we do need an Adam. Uh, I can play Adam. I mean, it's so, what I have to picture Steve so doing, which I don't love. To the as sincere as you can. Yeah, as of Adam. course, of course. So Renee, you are performing Yum Yum on Adam whenever you are ready and action. Really enjoy. Oh yeah. Uh, we okay. I'm sorry. Cut. cut uh, sorry, cut. Renee. Let's just cut <laughs> yeah, right away. Cut. Hey, hey, Adam. Okay. Keep the no title. audio. You, you, no yeah, no, no, no reaction to the act. We'll, we'll let Renee start with the kind of pseudo choke, and then okay. you'll be and there for the conversation. I, I don't hard this. let you pull me back. That's, I'm gonna that's... just say this as an as an extra. I know you won the strike, but yeah. in this you don't have lines. <laughs> 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 okay, so let's go again right. and action. Oh, babe, are you okay? Is everything all right? No, I'm. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get this hair. It's like stuck in my throat right now, and it's. I'm trying to get it out of my mouth. Hold on just a second. Oh my! Give me just a minute. Oh, it's so to get a of water. Oh God! No. Uh, sorry. Hold on, Renee. It's, it's this also can't the, the actor we paired her with is he's really he's good. He's pushing it. Yeah, but, but hold on, good, Renee. But... I'm gonna say as your friend, I would not do fake choke. I would not. She do... cut the fake choke. She's doing a sort of it's but caught that, in her but throat. But the fake choke is the hair in her throat. Yeah, but it's caught. It's not. And I, but I wouldn't do this, and here's why. You're entering a really weird zone. She already in, did that. But in a conversation when you're saying you don't want him to feel embarrassed, you're choking mm -hmm. on his butthole hair, leaving the <laughs> act to get water for him to sit there alone and go like, Jesus, my asshole is so disgustingly hairy but that I choked my hairy. feet. I choked humiliating. My, humiliating. I think so too. And then I the next humiliate. time you go, hey, maybe you want to get into it, he'll be like, <laughs> Maybe don't kiss me anywhere beneath my nose because there's disgusting hairs from my ankles <laughs> to my nose. And I'm sorry, I nearly killed you. I would okay. say the go couples okay. wax. I got another. Uh, maybe I got a middle ground that mm. leads you to the All couples right. wax. You're doing the act and you tell him that it's hard to give him what he wants with what's back there a little bit. And it's more on the level of for what you're trying to do it's a little difficult and you think that uh, you could do this after and say, you know, after everything's finished, after you're in the throes of passion, you think it might be a good idea for both of you to go just clean up your nether regions yeah. together. Oh, that's interesting. Renee, can I go back to you for a second? Okay. I need to get, I need to get to the core of this one a little bit. Where are you at in real life on this? Are you thinking of doing a little bit of like a song and dance to get to this talk? Cause I think well, this is a danger zone. She wants that, yeah. It is. I it is. I think that it could it could go south. So I think I need to play it safe and just 
maybe suggest the couple's wax and just see the reaction from that. I think that's and right. And then I can gauge where it goes from there. And I right. think there is something to Gareth's idea of letting it rip down there a little bit because your dream scenario is he says to you, hey, any chance you want to trim it up a little bit? And you could say, sure, how about you? And he goes, trim what up? And you go, maybe everything. Yeah. I think if we he, enter this, look, it's funny right now. We're having a lot of fun. If you enter this role play about choking on a butthole hair mm -hmm. <laughs> with your partner. Yeah. We explored I mean, it and we had a good time with it. Yes. But here's I the don't problem. Think it works, though. Here's the problem. I think you only get one real shot you to do. do this properly. Yeah, I agree. So I think if you just straight up go with a conversation, you know, it, that also feels a little bit like I know out of nowhere. So that's why I think if you if you let it the seventies, if you well if you, if it's the seventies or even if it's when you are doing it right after you say it's a little hard for me to get to where oh. you want me to go. Because it feels like it's coming, it's I, coming out I, of an experience. I was, I was thinking that maybe, yeah, like just kind of like it's easier to get to the sweet spot yes. without the debris in the way. By the way, he's gonna Title. like this. Title. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's gonna like this too. So yeah, he, he's living. I mean, he's, I think so too. he's 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 performing other things back That's there that probably are gonna go a lot better without this. Yeah, nightmare it's more shrub. unfettered yum yum access. Like you yeah. don't have to peel away some yeah of the, so you know. renee what do you think about how would this play for you if you did the act and then said after hey you know honestly honey it's a little bit hard to get to the sweet spot with all the debris in the way how do you think that's going to play in your language with you and adam i think that if it was while we were still you know in a playful loving mood i yep. think that it would play all right i think, I think that, that would be I, how yeah, i would do yeah. it so post-coital mm -hmm. so we're we've got our advice from this group seems to be right after the act bring it up sweetly with the intent of i just kind of want to go further and give you what you want be but better at making it did be better yeah, at yeah it. exactly uh yeah. the other I advice that. i don't want you to throw away is the 70s play fire with fire and let him bring it up mm -hmm. and then yeah. you as it both could say what if we did a waxing together after the first waxing then you go deep and he goes that was great and you go you know it's actually i never thought of this it's better without the hair yeah so <laughs> renee what do you think <laughs> you're like, what do you like gonna that. what do you think you're gonna i think we've given you two rock solid ideas here what do you think you're gonna do i think i'm going to bring it up after it happens yeah. while we're still in the you know playful loving mood that way it's light Smart. and you yep. know, it's not too heavy i'm not bringing it up out of the blue yep and if that doesn't go anywhere then we'll go with plan b okay. because then it puts the ball on his court yep mm -hmm. i think i think that's I think really that smart order you can kind of do both <laughs> i think you're exactly yeah. right and and remember this the only other thing i'd say is like i would want to approach this as carefully as possible but you are doing this from a loving place and you know right. reminding him of that if it seems like it gets sensitive is going to be helpful it sounds like you're going to be coming from a very sweet place. I think the timing is right. Godspeed. And it, what it's a I, help me help you situation. What did Perfect. I call you earlier? Yes. Gara. Gar Gara. Gareth. 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 Yeah. Gareth. You can blind, you can find Garfy yeah. and Gareth. Yeah. All right. So this is Gareth and Jake with special guest Steve Berg saying, just talk to Adam. <laughs> Thank you. Good for luck, the call. Renee. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> 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 I think that one with some trims is going to be a lot of fun. Well, I think that's what her policy is. <laughs> thank you, guys. <laughs> what a great video clip. Hey, thank you so much for checking it out. We're loving it. And uh, we want to thank you. And uh, you don't want to miss anything. So what should they do, Jake? Let's do another one. Hey, everybody. Thank you guys for watching us on YouTube. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of this quality content. Ring, ring. Here to help, go ahead. Cut. That was a headgum podcast. <laughs> <laughs>